Ever since we first laid ears on JBL's 3 Series studio monitors a few years ago, we were incredibly impressed with the way they sounded. They are affordable, they had a very wide soundstage, and they really let home and professional content creators get inside of the stuff that they're making. So we've been testing the new version of those studio monitors that just came out, the 306P Mark II, in my home studio, and we've got to say, they sound amazing. Visually, there are very few differences between the original model and the Mark II iteration. The Mark II looks a little bit more dressed up in that it has a shiny plastic front, but other than that, they pretty much look the same. JBL has also added a new size to the second generation, and that's very useful. So they used to just have a 5-inch woofer version and an 8-inch woofer version, and this new version, the one we're testing, is a 6.5-inch woofer version they're calling the 306. So they have 305, 306, and 308 now. The most important and visually striking element of these speakers is the waveguide technology, and that's this thing that surrounds the tweeter in sort of a pillowy plastic cushion. That's designed so that the high frequencies are spread more evenly throughout the soundstage, so that when you move your head around or move around in a space, the frequency response remains relatively flat. Why is that important? If you're EQing a track or adding compression or other small musical minutia, you wanna really be able to hear every element of that sound, even if you have to move around a little bit. So the three series speakers are powered by dual 56 watt class D amplifiers, and you can adjust the volume of the speakers on the back using this knob. It goes from zero to 10. We've been leaving them at about five, and they are plenty loud at five. In terms of inputs, there's a TRS input and an XLR input. Both are balanced. Because they're powered speakers, there's a power input. And another cool thing is that you can adjust the high frequency and low frequency trim of the speakers depending on the way your room sounds or where you're placing them. We spent a few weeks testing JBL's new 3 Series in the home studio, both working with them as a production tool and also just listening to high quality music via streaming services like Tidal and Spotify. And in every scenario, they sounded absolutely incredible. The waveguide creates this very, very wide dynamic soundstage, so you can really hear into each element of the sound. We really liked the new six and a half inch woofer. It really brought a lot of low end punch, a lot more than you might expect for a speaker this size. And that made them very, very easy to sit close to and really feel like we were getting every single element of the mix. When doing things like frequency adjustment or adding compression or gating, these speakers really worked as an effective tool in aiding us to create better content. And that's really their goal. And at this price point, it's relatively astonishing how well they really help you do your job. But even just sitting at your computer and listening to music, you'll consistently be impressed with how great these sound. They're so transparent and they really bring you inside of your favorite music. And they also allow you, if you're a content creator, to hear when someone else's mix might not be up to snuff. The thing we really love about the 306P Mark II and the entire new 3 Series line is that JBL has basically taken an exceptional speaker and just improved it, but not changed the price point. So if you are looking for an excellent pair of studio monitors for your new home studio setup or even a professional setup, we highly recommend you check out JBL's 3 Series line. Hey guys, we love hearing from you, so if you have anything to add or any questions, be sure to put them in the comments below. Definitely check out digitaltrends.com for other written reviews, and be sure to like and subscribe to our page if you want to hear about other cool products.